I worked alongside Andy Smith, the president of the West Country Wasps. The West Country Wasps are an all-gay inclusive rugby team that are located in the Devon and Cornwall area. I became interested in this group because of my partner, James Woods. Uh, we've been together two years and he is actually one of the members on the committee. But I had one other reason why. I was told to push myself within this project and I, would, and I did so by going out of my comfort zone. I personally disliked sports and as a child I could never be interested in it. So I saw this self as something to challenge myself with and thus for also expanding myself as a person. So in the beginning me and Andy Smith went over what concept we would like to have and how we would like to develop over, t over time. During the beginning I struggled as I had many collaborators such as musician composers and graphic designers all wanting to be involved in this project. However, due to the lack of communication I was forced to let both of these music composers and the graphic designer go. The process I did was researching into the club and other sports documentaries in order to solidify a structure. I decided to record multiple training sessions that they have every Thursday in different locations in order to show the audience what they do in these sessions. Based on the research, I applied the same format of each of the interviews, having one person after another on a comfortable chair looking at me in a plain white background. I interviewed eight people in total in this project in order to gather the intel on what the group does and where they are and what and where they originate from and who they are as people. These people had a lot of stories to share, and some of them were bullied and ridiculed because of their sexual orientation in the past. When I got to the training sessions and the games, I was in charge of filming on the JVC 150 camera while I had Thomas Raymond photograph the games. Due to the lack of resources, I was forced to edit as well. Bearing in mind I'm not overly strong at editing as I would like, I challenged myself to overcome this. I relayed the editing process and music selection to Tom in order to get a second opinion. Due to the limited schedule, I was driven to collect all of the interviews in a week, so to, to make it better, I created a Facebook group messenger in order to organise it. Done good. I mean, I've seen all the background work you've put in. You've spent months filming. Um, you turned up in the dark in the wet on training sessions, so I think there'll be some really good stock images you've got in there. Really happy with the level of research that's gone into it. Um, looks a very well lengthy project that you've put together bang on with reply speeds. So, when it comes to communication, I've never had any issues reaching you. It's a bit of a monumental task anyway. Highly recommend you as someone to do a collaboration with on the basis of your professionalism and efficiency. No, I don't. I, I mean, I think the organisation has been exceptionally good and it's been obvious, um, but it hasn't been off-put. We've had cameras in training and it hasn't put anybody off because you've been there just getting on with it and no it's been really really seamless. It feels really professional and quite special to have a sort of documentary made about us to be honest. What do you think could have been done better with this collaboration? Uh, not really. I think it's probably more involvement from the club with specific members not uh, being able to make the better verses. It's pretty good. There's, there's definitely no negatives at all. Um, if anything it's only positives. Um, the, the amount of exposure I'm sure this will for the club is fantastic so um, yeah nothing but positives. I remember when you were five, more or less first starting this project and you're like filming as a trainer and you're building your list of like people with interviews and now but you know from what I've can hear so far you've interviewed quite a lot of people in an outfit. I'd say it's grown and say you've turned up in the most horrible turgid conditions so that's made us realise that you are dedicated to the project you want to make sure it accurately portrays what we do. So I think it only garners respect when you turn up in such dodgy conditions. Um, I think it makes a very professional portrayal of us and it makes people realise we're not just a group running about in the mud, it shows what we offer and a very wide spectrum. The overall process of the project that I feel is that I connected more with Andy and the group as individuals and knowing them as people. Constantly sharing the schedule and work so that everyone had an opinion as I got much out of the collaboration as I did.